Hey folks, here is the, um, the Cree 6 watt LED bulb and I'm going to show you a manual pulsing of the uh, <coughs> I'm using that little capacitor there. I think that's from a, uh, a CFL 100, 100 nanofarad and then you can see the circuits, 4 volts. And I disconnected the primary from the Joule Thief oscillator. And I'm going to show you the effect it has. So that's good. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see better. You'll notice it um, initially. Really see? Oh, let's try this. See how it's dim? Initial pulse. The cap starts to charge up. And it starts to become equal. On first, on, off. So you see. Maybe you'll see. Um, kind of and we can see it uh, see it taper there a bit that ring down I think Anyway, sometimes it uh, it rings down. I don't know if you noticed. A few times it did. But um, yeah, it's hard to do that in the dark. But nonetheless, it is interesting because you take the cap off here, take that off, and go you know direct to the LED bulb, and it won't light with this manual pulsing. Right now, I think I'm using 750 ohms base. Draws a little more than I think it's 1.4 watts, but it's pretty bright, oscillating. And so, we were. My questioning was about, you know, based on that circuit, why is it? I think we we figured out. Yeah, on the first pulse, it makes sense that it's it's conducting the LEDs but on the collapse you know is it it's ringing here back and forth and causing it to conduct so I mean well there you go anyway just so I can see the effect there on the bulb thanks for watching